Welcome to this new video. This week, we are going to show you how to migrate your Slack channels to Google Spaces. We are going to show you how to configure the migration and run it. Once in your project, your first step is to configure your connectors for connecting to Slack and Google Spaces and create an application following this article. This link is provided in the user guide. Log in to api.slack.com Under Oath and Permissions, copy the user oath token. Now, click on Connectors and click on Create a Slack Source Connector. Give your connector a name, select Source as Direction and select Site, Groups, Teams for Migration Product. Click Next. Paste the user oath token. Click Next and Complete. Now that we have created the source connector, let's set up the target Google Spaces connector. Select a Google connector. Give it a name and select Target as Direction and select Site, Groups, Teams as Product. If you select the Expert mode, you will have to create and provide your own service account. In this video, we are not going to use the Expert mode, but the CloudAway User Guide provides the full documentation for creating your own service account. Click Next and Complete. Now that the Google Connector is created, you need to give the service account that you have configured the correct permissions. For this, you have to connect to the Google Admin Console and configure the security permissions. Navigate to admin.google.com, then click on Security, Access and Data Control then API Control, then Manage Domain Wide Delegation. Enter the Google service account that you have defined in the connector and set the correct permissions. You can find the required permissions in the following article. First, let's populate the migration list. It can be done in two different ways. From the Site Migration Interface, navigate to Sites, then Group List, then select Get List from the Migration menu. Or from the Discovery homepage by selecting Get Groups, Teams. In the Get Groups pop-up, select your source connector. Click on Get. You can monitor and check the logs of the discovery process. Once completed, the list of channels appear in the list. Now, let's pick up one channel and migrate it. Set the target location. Before starting the migration, start the pre-processing task. The preprocessing will create the target space and give the correct permissions to the migration account. Once the preprocessing is completed, you can start the migration and come back later once it's done. Good! The migration is completed. We can see the statistics of the migration in the user details. We can also see a consolidated view of the statistics in the global dashboard.
Thank you for watching and check out our other migration guides.